guys welcome to my channel my name is priscilla and on this channel we believe you are never too young to reach your full potential today i'm doing another nursing video for my nurse gang um but before i get started please give me a like comment subscribe to this video definitely helps me out in the channel okay so let's get started today's video is going to be for um some apps that will help you during nursing school or in school in general, but these are something that I definitely use throughout my um, nursing school process. Um, so without any further ado, let's get started. So my number one app that I have here is the Google or the Docs slash the Notes slash the Google Apps. All of the stuff, uh, Google Notes app, all of that allows for you to take your notes appropriately in class as well as record um, for classes and stuff like that different um, I know that when you're in school you don't really catch everything during um, class so I definitely like to record that definitely helps me out um, definitely an auditory learner so Google um, Google notes actually records your notes um, records during classes and dictates it as well so that's really really cool a cool hack that I kind of I learned on the way there um, Docs also has a way for you to record your classes and not buy a recorder I used to actually have a hand recorder and then I was like well why am I using the recorder I can just use my phone to record so then I started doing that um, and then that definitely helped me out and that mean you have the file and it's in your it's in, it's with you the next one is going to be Amazon Rentals, um, Amazon eBooks. So you guys probably already know, uh, nursing books, college books are um, quite a, a pretty penny, even uh, because they're they're having to use like some of these codes, like um, so that you can access the book electronically, which is a blessing and a cursing because. Um, at times you can't necessarily get that specific code um, or a specific code and reuse it again. So Google Rentals, I know lots of nursing programs still use books and stuff like that. So Google or Google, Amazon Rentals helps you to rent a book that could be like 200 bucks for like 60 or, you know, 45 for use or later edition of the book if you know, um, if you know how to like maniver, conniver, um, certain, certain texts, but definitely helps me out. Definitely a must have. Um, also if you buy an ebook on the Amazon rentals, you can actually read your ebook as well on Kindle. So that's definitely helpful. Next is Quizlet. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Quizlet. I love Quizlet because it helps you um, it's like a modern day flashcard. So you can literally, um, have 50 questions and 50 rationales and answers, and you can put that on your flashcards and you can literally have it on your phone at any time. If you have not downloaded the Quizlet app, it is a very good tool to have, especially, um, since, you know, you're on the go at work, wherever it is that you can go open up that app, go through your flashcards. It actually goes through, um, one thing that I did with the questions, um, was that I went through the app and it's, I got my questions and stuff like that. It's not only like questions, um, that you make, it's questions that everyone has made, um, relating that topic you can find as well. And so I really, I really like that as well. Um, but it could actually dictate or read it for you. Read the questions and then read the the, ra the rationales. And I used to do that in the mornings before a class or before um, an exam or something like that. And that really um, definitely upped my game as well. So next, again, with the um, auditory learner stuff as well. Next we have uh, so Socratic, Socratic, Socratic. Socratic. I don't know how to say it, but I'll put the app stuff in the description as well as um, um, pop it up here. But the this app literally 
uses your camera to scan the questions that you have and then it will look up that specific question or look up that specific um, topic that you're interested in. So definitely helpful for when you have like those practice questions and you're just like, I don't know if this is the right rationale or I want to look deeper into this. You look that up and then um, it comes up with the questions, the answers, resources that you can look up in. Um, definitely helpful too. Um, it's literally the camera takes a picture of the, yeah, the camera takes a picture of the question and then even if it's handwritten, it'll take a picture of it. Um, and then it would look up resources via Google, um, different, div bunch of different resources. And then it'll pop up for you on there. Next is Picmonix. So Picmonix is something that I definitely use during my anatomy physiology as well as pharmacology. Picmonix helps you, it's kind of like, it's like flashcards sort of. It's got questions, answers, and rationales for different sets of, um, for different sets of topics. Um, so if you're looking for um, medications like opioid medications and stuff like that it'll give you a detailed report or detailed um, details on opioids what they do their class how to use them different examples um, it also will help you in anatomy and physiology if you've got that um, give you a picture of the uh, the lungs if you're doing the lungs at that time it'll give you a picture of the lungs medications the flow of it um it'll definitely break down things that um i know sometimes instructors go through things really fast um and it's up to you to really go back and go in on the various different topics that is a very very good um app to use especially when you want to go back and get a deeper explanation and a deeper understanding of the topic. Um, next we have the Medscape. So Medscape is, that's for like, um, for my, also, you know, for my advanced practice nurses. Um, and then for even the LPNs, RNs, BSNs, Medscape is a really, really good um, app that will help you look up medications that um, you might not have not seen. Um, so if you're on the job or if you're at, at school or during clinicals and this patient has a bunch of medications, list of medications, and you're just like, I wonder what this medication is. Medscape is an app that is free um, that you can look up that medication, the class, um, the, the appropriate dosage, um, patient demographics, if it's um, if you can use for pediatrics or adults, um, and that definitely helps for everyone. And uh, that, that just, uh, it helps. I love it. Um, and it's free. Did I mention it's free? Because some of these apps are not free. <laughs> um, but everything that I mentioned in this video is free as well. Next, I have, um, the last one is Evernote. It's also kind of like your um, Google Notes. Evernote is a app that you can literally look up um, your notes. You can literally look up notes, write notes out, record, excuse me, record your notes as well as um, dictate them. Um, and it, it it's really a really useful, really useful application to have. Um, so once you download the app, it actually store all your notes for you. So if you have had an issue where, you know, you're an Apple user and it pops up and it says, oh, your notes that you, um, your phone no longer have storage. <laughs> yeah. So, um, it helps eliminate that storage bases and stuff like that. Does the storage that you have on your phone for your pictures and your videos or whatnot. Um, it also, it does a lot of things on that app. So I definitely, um, recommend that you guys check it out. I have not used it as in depth as all the other apps. However, um, I did start using it towards the end of my, um, rotation. I was like, how come I did not start? Who, where was I? Where was I? But, um, nevertheless, you can't, um, 
always you can't always know all things about your apps so about apps but i hope this video helps somebody um if you have any other apps or resources that you would like to share please leave them in the comments below um like um, comment subscribe again and um, have an awesome day bye